Hey everyone, Ryan here. In this video, we're going to talk about dates of tooth eruption, a critically important topic for all dental board exams, but also for general dental knowledge. So teeth come in all different shapes and sizes, and their exact location in the jaws and when they come into the mouth depend on numerous factors. People are typically born with all 20 baby teeth or primary teeth, but they don't start to come in or erupt until about six months of age. They fall out or exfoliate at various times as a child and are eventually replaced with adult or permanent teeth. Eventually, by about age 21, all 32 of the permanent teeth should be erupted into the mouth. So I have to give credit to whoever came up with this. I don't know his name, but I'll put a link in the description to his NXI main method, which I think is an awesome memory tool for you to learn for the board exam. But I'd like to present a more concise version in this video. So first, let's talk about the baby or primary teeth. And all the eruption times that I use in this video are straight from the ADA website. So these numbers for the primary teeth eruption dates are all in months. And here we have the central incisors, lateral incisors, canines, first molars, and second molars. And these are all of the primary teeth. So we're looking at one side of the complete primary dentition. Now there is some discrepancy here, but this is what I urge you to remember for the dental board exams. Every tooth erupts in a range, normally within a six month time period, but for the board exam, it's much more practical to remember a single number for each tooth. And even more importantly, the order that those teeth normally erupt in. So how we remember that is NXI, all lowercase. So what we'll do is draw out those three letters, one straight to the next. So we'll start with the lower central incisor and we'll draw our N by going up, around, and back down. Then we'll jump up to the upper first molar and start drawing our X. And finally, we'll wrap underneath and finish up with our I. And so by drawing those three letters, one straight to the next, you get the sequence, the sequence of eruption. So if you need any, any additional help for remembering the numbers, remember 6, 16, and 26. So these are all ending in 6, giving you some reference points for the entire sequence. And so if you can remember these three letters and how to draw them in this configuration, you can remember the sequence of eruption, which I think is really, really cool. And next, we'll talk about the adult or the permanent teeth. And so all the eruption times here are, again, straight from the ADA website. So this time, all the numbers that I use here are in years and not months. So these teeth also tend to erupt within a six month window, but again, learn a single number for each tooth for the board exam and focus most importantly on the sequence of eruption. So how we remember this sequence is the word main, all uppercase. And by drawing those four letters separately, we can remember the sequence of eruption for the permanent teeth. So what we do is we start with the I and we'll start at the lower first molar. So we'll draw in our I, and then we'll jump to the lower central incisor, and we'll draw our M. So we'll go up and down, then up and down again. Then we'll jump over to the lower first premolar, and I should, I should expand on this, that we have the central incisor, lateral incisor, canines, first premolars, second premolars, and then our first, second, and third molars. So after drawing our M, we can jump over to the lower first premolar and start drawing our A. So we go up, around, down, and this one's a little bit funky. We go up to the upper canine to finish our A. And then lastly, we jump over to the lower second molar and we finish with our capital N. And so we have the word main, all uppercase. And again, by drawing those four letters separately, starting with the I, 
you get the sequence of eruption for the permanent dentition. And if you need some help remembering the numbers for this one, remember 6, 6, 10, and 11. And so these are the four numbers, the four starting numbers for each of the four letters to give you a reference for the rest of the sequence. And they all happen to be mandibular teeth. So some other general facts for tooth eruption. Usually, mandibular teeth erupt before maxillary teeth. This is especially true in the permanent dentition. Generally, teeth in females erupt earlier than those same teeth in males. And in both males and females, tooth eruption should occur symmetrically in both jaws. So if the lower left first premolar is erupting, the lower right first premolar should also be erupting or close to it. And finally, something I call the two three rule. Teeth normally erupt when two thirds of their root has developed. And then the root takes about two to three more years after the initial eruption to complete its root development. So I'm confident that with this awesome memory tool, you'll be able to remember exactly what you need to know for the board exam and for future reference in the years to come. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in supporting the channel, please check out my Patreon page. A huge thank you to Michael Raja, Ainz Lau, David Jaden, Yannet, Hyatt, and all of my patrons for their support. You can unlock extras like access to my video slides to take notes on and practice questions for the board exam. So go check that out. The link is in the description. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.